Today I want to talk about loving, loving ourselves, loving our children, our neighbors, the world, the universe, loving the things that we don't like, and this whole notion of unconditional loving. Unconditional loving is this concept that we basically move ourselves in 100% acceptance and that we love everything that is in front of us, whether it's the circumstance, the person, a way of being, an action, that we really extend our love, generosity, and kindness to whatever is in front of us. And I have to tell you, as human beings, that's not an easy task because from the moment that we are created, and there's judgment in our space, meaning people are not happy with the way things turn out. So they judge and by default, we learn how to judge. And because we like to control, one of the things that human beings are very good at is controlling ourselves. That also comes with judging ourselves because maybe everything is going away out there. And so the only thing that I can control is judging myself. So how do I move myself from judging myself to unconditional loving? So in, in some ways it's very simple, but it's not an easy thing to do. And here's what I tell myself and this is what I tell my clients. Basically, there are two ways of being or two ways of acting in the world. We can either do the right wrong, play the right wrong game, or we can be loving, being in love in the loving game. So the right wrong game is very easy because it's all about judgment. This, this is right, this is wrong, you should, you should not. That uh, must be that way. It's, and you can hear it in my language that uh, judgment comes in the language. And loving is basically accepting. It's extending my loving into the situation, opening my heart and just trusting that even though I don't like something, I can still stay in my loving. How do I do it? How do I stay in my loving when the world is going crazy and when there's so many things that I don't like and there are things that are happening to me that are upsetting or painful? Well, it's hard. And it's something that, that comes from time time to time. So it's not that we're always going to be in unconditional loving, something that we will experience and something that I strive for to have more of in my life. So one of the ways that I do it is by doing a forgiveness exercise and looking actually at the judgments that I have about myself or situation where I think I should be, should be different about something and then forgive myself. I complete the following statement. I forgive myself for judging myself or I forgive myself for judging a circumstance or a person. And then I go as deeply as I can and look into my consciousness to see what am I really judging about myself or the situation. And oftentimes it's things like I'm not good enough or I'm dumb or I should know better or I'm not trying hard enough. Those sort of things that I grew up with or society has presented me with. And once I move myself to the forgiveness exercise and I complete it, then voila, by default, the unconditional loving appears. For me, um, this is very powerful. And I uh, often remind myself to do forgiving because it has that sort of side effect that I'm in unconditional loving. I also put myself in different situations such as meditation or sometimes in a seminar where I know I will be able to experience those things. So I, I'm a big believer in creating structure and so that you know um, at the end of whatever the structure is that you will experience unconditional loving or you will be in a state of that. And lastly, I find it very important to sort of remind myself daily that my choice is to be loving and to guide with my heart. And when you make that choice, when you say to yourself, that's what I want and that's what I'm working towards, uh, you will get a little bit of assistance from the universe and the universe will help you to really stay true to that. So I think perhaps what I'm saying here is it starts with a choice. You want to choose to have more unconditional loving in your life, whether that is from others or whether that is you generating yourself. And then when you want to look towards, do I need to be right? Do I need to be judgmental? Do I need to be controlling or can I let go? Can I move myself into the loving and open my heart and see what's present for me? for myself. So those are things for you to practice. And I'm curious to hear from you as always how that shapes up when you practice it at work or when you practice it at home with your kids. And I find for myself that when I create that mindset for myself that today I'm coming home from work and I'm bringing loving to my family, to my children, that oftentimes I will have more of that than when I didn't have that in my mind.
Now, of course, I, sometimes, you know, I have the intention and then I have a good intention and then something happens and I get upset. But what matters is that you get back to it, that you practice the forgiveness. Or maybe you do some writing, some freeform writing, meaning you write things down and then you burn it without rereading it. And, or there are some other techniques that you might have. Practice, play, and see how creative you can be. And remember that at the end of the day, when you are in your loving and when there's unconditional loving present for you, you will feel very, very good and happy. Take care. Have a great day.